When you open Microsoft Paint, you actually only see half of the program because tucked away in the menus is a second mode that causes Paint to interpret colors in a very unique and special way. I'm going to show you how to find this mode, a little bit of how it works, as well as some things you can do with it. So let's check out Microsoft Paint's black and white mode together. So in a practical sense, this mode's really useful for creating line art and for blocking out otherwise complex references because we can actually use it to delete complex backgrounds. So imagine this man here were a photo and we are trying to remove them from the background. So what we're gonna wanna do is outline everything that we want to save in pure white. So what I'm gonna wanna do now to take them out from the background is come up here to file, open that menu, and come down to properties and then click. We're gonna get this pop-up that has some useful information, but we're interested over here under colors. We're gonna click black and white and then hit okay. Now when you do this, you're gonna see another pop-up and this warning is very important to understand because black and white mode is not grayscale. It is truly black and white, as in one bit, two colors. Essentially, from here, what Paint is going to do is reinterpret our entire image, and any color that isn't pure white is going to turn into pure black. This will destroy your image if you're not careful, so make sure you have a backup saved before doing this. We're going to hit OK and see what happens. Boom. This is why we outline in pure white. Now we can zoom out and then hold down Control, Shift, and then hit I to invert our canvas and get just the clean line art separate from the background. What's really special about this mode has to do with something called ordered dithering. Essentially, when you use the color picker in black and white mode, paint will instead generate a repeating pattern to represent that color. Here are some examples of colors as well as their corresponding patterns. It's kind of peculiar, right? These patterns are a lot of fun and they can get surprisingly gorgeous once you start using brushes like the crayon. Also, the fill bucket tool works like you would expect and the color replacement tool more or less does too. Personally, I like taking photos, converting them to monochrome bitmaps with the save as option, bringing them into black and white mode to paint over them, and then bringing them back to color mode to fill in the gaps with colors. Word of warning, this mode crashes a lot, so save your work often. Like, really, really often. With that in mind, good luck, have fun, I'll see you next time.